In this video, you will get to know in detail about setting predefined value for master data in SAP Business One. In the ideal situation, when a user creates a new master data record or a document that draws data from a master data record, adjusting the data is a simple process of looking everything over and changing a few data items here or there if needed, preferably by using drop down lists and other error resistant methods. The rationale for creating this type of master data is to help SAP Business One make this ideal situation happen as frequently as possible. The predefined values appear in the drop down lists for countries, groups of customers, payment terms, and more. The default data is the data that fills in fields as a first choice. Each of these settings provides defaults that are used when master data records are created and controls various behavior in documents that use master data. For example, in the inventory tab of the system initialization window, you can select a checkbox to indicate that a given item should be added automatically to every warehouse. Please note that any change that you submit to the defaults already defined does not influence existing master data records. The change is applicable for master data records that are created after the change was submitted. There is no magic formula for getting predefined values and default data right. The correct values for each type of data vary from business to business and industry to industry. SAP Business One implementation partners are valuable in getting predefined values and default data set up correctly, even in the best case, corrections and additions are inevitable. Expect to make a few adjustments as your understanding of SAP Business One improves. Setting up predefined values and defaults happens in four places in the administration module of SAP Business One. First place is the administration. Select System Initialization, and then go to General Settings, and then click BP Tab Defaults, and Settings, such as Credit and Commitment Limits, Commissions, Payment Terms, Payment Methods, Dunning Terms, and Approval Procedures for Business Partner Master Records. Second place is the Administration, select System Initialization, and then select General Settings, go to Inventory Tab, and click Item Subtab Defaults and settings, such as management methods, for serial and batch numbers, default warehouses for items, and general ledger methods, for setting up new item, that determines where the default general ledger accounts, are taken from. Third place is the administration, select setup, and then select general and business partner defaults, and settings, for predefined values such as countries, customer and vendor groups, custom properties, sales employees and address formats. The fourth and the final place is the administration, select setup, and then select inventory defaults and settings, for predefined values such as item groups, item properties, warehouses, units of measurement, customs groups and shipping types. When working with business partner, and item master data, it's helpful to know, what fields are mandatory, particularly if you are importing master data from another application. Thanks for watching this video, do write us for any queries.